Hello everybody, we are back. Drew is here to try to help me work on my rounding, <laughs> try to get me throwing uh, a little bit better. That's what we're here today and I'll let you take it away. And, and, and a walk up too. Yeah, and a walk I'm, up. I'm gonna, I saw your video and yeah. I have some notes. Thank so, you. So, yes. cool. Uh, today's not gonna be very comfortable, obviously, because yeah. you're gonna get some constructive feedback. Yeah. But also, it's gonna be very uncomfortable because any new changes that you implement, uh, it's not gonna feel comfortable. And the fact of the matter is, what I'm gonna teach you today is just a fundamental basic. Okay. Um, as you watch all the pros on Jomez and all that, they all have different styles of throwing. Yeah. And it really, you have to do what f works for you and what fits for your body type. Uh, my piece of advice has always been, pick a pro that your body looks like and try to emulate <laughs> what they do, right? Okay. Because they figure out, uh, they figured out all the, the strong points you know, uh, of where they get the most power and everyone's built differently. Okay. So if, you, if you're lucky enough to be shaped like one of them, yeah, yeah. Uh, by all means emulate and then personalize from there. But everything that we're gonna talk about today is gonna be just the basic style of throwing, okay. fundamental thing for you to kind of okay. tailor, all right? And we're gonna go through some drills. I'm gonna teach you some drills that you can do at home. Okay. And I'm also gonna show you something that I recently learned as of like this past Sunday. Today's okay. Wednesday. Yeah. But I was playing a course uh, with a pro in Austin this weekend and I picked up some tips uh, cool. for some, hopefully some extra power. Awesome. So uh, learning it is one thing, doing it is another. Yeah. So first off, uh, so I studied your film. Okay. And, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're entertaining. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, as your doubles partner today, I'm, yeah. I'm really happy that uh, you're at least good at putting. Yes. <laughs> so I don't think we would have scored as low yeah. if, uh, if, if I had to be putting. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, so a couple things I noticed, right? Okay. So in order to build power through a throw, you need rotation. Okay. And what I notice uh, in your throw is that you're here, you're facing this way, you're trying to throw this way. Okay. And uh, you're here. Okay. So your reach back is here. Got but it. you're not fully turned back, right? Okay. So you tell me, what's a more powerful position, thrown from here or thrown from here? Yeah, that's true. Right? So what you're doing is now you're shifting your weight back mm -hmm. onto your back foot, which you do very well. Yeah. Okay. But you got to rotate the shoulders back and point your chest almost behind you. Okay. And keep the disc slightly outside your body here. That way when you come in. Okay. Right. You're not rounding. Okay. Yeah. So I want to go over what rounding is. Uh, and I've watched a lot of videos on rounding. A lot of people, a lot of amateurs, when they throw, you're here. Yeah. Right. And you have to come around your body yeah. and expel the disc. Well, that. A is not a powerful throw, but also, I mean, you could late release here, yeah. right? You could early release here. So you want to be able to not pull straight. I know that's a common thing to say. I think it's a little antiquated. Yeah, yeah. But you want to drive that rotation. You're not pulling. You're, you're actually, your, your hip drive here is what's moving the disc forward until the disc gets to about your arm or your pack. Okay. And then you're expelling the disc away from your body. Got it. Okay. So it looks straight, but you're not actually, you're not pulling it like a lawnmower. Yeah, right? yeah. You're moving in loose to pick up speed, and then you're pushing the disc away. All right. Oh, yeah. One thing I want to mention that I, that, so I started out with zero, zero training. I was just handed some discs and told yeah. to throw. So I know, like, for me, if I'm aiming towards a target, right. my feet are parallel, and I know all the pros and all the other people do it like that. Yeah. But I've gotten into the habit where I'm just used to doing that. And of course, yeah. I'm reaching back. Right. and rounding cause, partly because of that so right. instead of so you're here and then you're here yeah yeah or here yeah and then you you kind of sort of i, I noticed that you kind of get out of your way a yeah. little bit and that's the rounding part right yeah. so the shoulder angle is closed and then as you're pulling through you're kind of leaning back to get out of the disc's way right yeah. so you can't really build that power right through if you're trying to break and break down a door you're not going to try to yeah. lean back right so um in order to not round, with some degrees of, uh, of difference here, I want you to think 90-90. Okay. 90 degrees at the shoulder, 90 degrees at the elbow, right? This is your power pocket, okay. right? So I don't want you to close off too much. Yeah. Right, you watch the pros, they will close off. Yeah, yeah. Did you find your disc? I'm sorry, bud. It's so deep over there and just like <sighs> I'm oh, sorry. Did you throw this thing yet? No, I haven't. We're recording now. So you want to teach them how to not round? Sure. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of rounding is just the way you turn your body. So like, okay. a lot of people, it's it's literally. Here, come, like, come on over here, so you can show, okay, so you can show the people. This is Josh. He's been playing for 20 years. So he's really good. If you haven't seen the last video, it's not is, bad. Is a lot of uh, just getting your body in the way mm -hmm. of your shot. Okay. So the reason why you're rounding is because instead of being able to come through straight mm -hmm. like you want to, yeah, your yeah. body gets in the way, and you end up coming around. 
and releasing like this. Is it like a catapult? That's what I think of. I don't know if that's it's technically not like a catapult. It's like a trebuchet, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Like a catapult would like be in a straight line usually, uh, you know, just catapulting. Okay. And it can't move. Got it. Trebuchet is the thing that like lags behind and then ends yeah. up like catching up to okay. itself. But really it's just, even that goes on a straight line. Okay. You know? Like it's going to be slung on that same straight line that it's going. Okay. But if your body's in the way, it forces you to come out here yeah. and throwing like this. What you want to be is here. Like I don't even have much of a, of a reach back. If yeah, you, yeah. You know, watch me throwing. I'm like right here and then just yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, come right through. Boom, straight. Cool. But if you're coming, like some people reach back too far, they'll reach back to the side. Me. And then like my body's in the way of my shot. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now you're going to round. There's yeah, no yeah. way to throw it. You can't throw it through your body. You know? yeah. Right. So it's all about just positioning yourself to where when you come through. And that's why people do like the X step because when mm -hmm. you do the X step, that's going to position your body usually like this. Okay. And now my body's out of the way of the shot. Got it. And I'm going to come. I have nothing in the way of me just going boom, just straight through. Okay. And like you say in that power pocket, you're going to get to right here and your elbow is kind of making that 90 degree angle and then you're coming back through. And okay. Yeah. I've actually studied Josh's form a lot and I noticed that he says he doesn't have much of reach back, but it, it is, I do see a bit of a reach back because he goes up and then he's down and then he comes into the yeah. power pocket. Yeah, so yeah. it's like a swoop. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a teardrop here, and then he expels it out, and then he yells. He yells really loud, like a like a <laughs> like a grunt. Like yeah. A grunt. Let me rip this yeah. yeah, yeah. Go for Let's it. This thing does. Make sure you grunt. What, for the what disc is that? That's a hatchet. Hatchet. Okay. You have a grunt for the for the camera. Grunt for the camera. Yeah. Grunt for the camera. There we go. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> now go get it. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys will catch up. Yeah, yeah, we'll get <laughs> right, it. Right, right, right. Cool, man. Good yeah, round. Cool. Thank you. For, thank you yeah, very much. You guys sir. will see more of Josh in our breakdown of our 18 holes here at Jones Creek. Yep. So, thank you. See you, bud. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, as uh, as Josh said, um, you don't want to get your body in the way, and that's why I, I go by the 90-90 principle, right? Because how are you? How's your body going to get in your way here, right? This is ideally, and it could be here, right? It could be here. Some pros pull lower. Right, I'm up here. Mm -hmm. I have to be up higher just because the way my body's built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I feel most strong, right? Yeah. But for me to uh, to get over my rounding, my I'll show you the evolution of my form. So my form used to be, I used to fo focus on rotational. So I'm here, mm -hmm. and then I'm out here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. obviously you're spraying the disc everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Right? So then my form eventually uh, became, I'm scooping up here, and then I'm I was I was a puller. So I pulled here, yeah. right? And of course, I'm spraying the disc everywhere. So what I do now, and you'll see it if you ever watch me play or you know, mm -hmm. when you guys watch our video, is that I hold the disc at 90-90. Okay. And I'll do my walk up here, and then when it's time for the reach back, I'm stepping forward, okay. right? I'm extending my arm out. Got it. So I'm not pushing the disc back, mm -hmm. but I'm extending my arm out, and I'm turning my shoulders back. Okay. That keeps the disc outside of my body. And so when I'm back here, and I'm ripping through right my elbow b bends back to 90 and i'm expelling the disc out straight okay. so i want you to think of like a movie theater for okay. you for you personally okay. okay you don't want to sit front row okay so don't sit front row right this is the screen okay. right don't don't hang out in that first row because okay. you'll crank your neck right yeah, yeah. you want to stay about mid to back as okay. far back as you can as far back as you can here is 90 90. okay i'm not talking about here i'm talking about here okay Right? So when you're here and you're walking up or, or you're doing your standstill, right? you're here and then extend your arm straight. No, don't push it back, just extend from that box and then come in and then back out. Roger. One bad habit I need to get rid of is sometimes I extend it like that, like okay. where the wrist comes out, so I'll try to not hold so out. So the wrist, I mean, this is, this is probably controversial. Mm -hmm because people will tell you, yeah, hold the disc hard, straight here, angle mm -hmm. control, this and that, and it's true. But if you really watch the pros, they have so much mu muscle memory with the wrists is that mm -hmm. they actually do have a little bit mm -hmm. of looseness here. So yeah, when yeah. you're leaning back, you're here, yeah. and then you come in, yeah. and as you're going out, the secret is at the end there, you're here. So you're not snapping like this, yeah, but yeah. You're, you're back to neutral. So out, in, out. Yeah, what right. I see and with that's gonna give you that spin. What I see with slingshot disc golf is he has the double move, is what he calls it. Yeah. But for him, to, he get he get, actually gets it out to make room for his left arm. And I'm not doing it right, of course, but to make room for his for the other hand. Yeah. He he does that. We'll talk about that um, yeah, yeah. with what I just learned okay. from from a, a local pro. He's got it. He's he's on Jomez. Okay. 
I don't want to drop names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, there's there's a disc lag. Okay. Uh, that that I started working on. Okay. So, anyways, so let's get you to throw some. Okay. okay? And let's look at your I'll ninety ninety. Okay. Without throwing the disc, I just need to start getting in position. So for yeah, just get used to it. So we're gonna drill. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about your feet. So you're you're okay. saying that you line up straight. Yeah. Here's my here's what's weird for me. Mm -hmm. See, I again my background is fitness, so I like to teach movement patterns in sports. Mm -hmm. But there's a movement pattern in disc golf that's absolutely unique to the sport. Because if you're talking about baseball swings, yeah, yeah. right? You yeah. watch the pros line up and you're, they're yeah. either here a little open mm -hmm. or slightly closed, right? Yeah. And then they do their timing step. Yeah, yeah. But they never step in front like this. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. They're never turning into their own leg. Yeah. And that's what you see a lot of pros do is that uh, pro disc golfers is they'll step and then what they do is they'll turn into this leg. Yeah, yeah. Like turn their whole body into this leg. Mm. And that's just the weirdest movement ever. Yeah, but yeah. I confirmed it with the pro that I played with. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So with that said, um, we do want to stagger our stance a little bit. Okay. It doesn't have to be an extreme okay. um, heel to toe, Got right? It. Like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Drew Gibson would say. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to argue with Drew Gibson. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But for everyone, everyone's different. I got big feet. Yeah, yeah. Right? So for me, like, toe to instep is fine mm. for me to get that. Okay without having to lose my balance and lean forward. Yeah, yeah. If I'm stepping too far forward, I'm stepping out here. Yeah, yeah. Right? So we're gonna step step in that stance, and I want you to just go 90-90. Okay. And I want you to start turning the shoulders back open and turn the hips, and then come in close. Right? This is very similar to our drill with Sean. Mm -hmm. When I had him reach back, right? But I want you to focus on what it feels like. You have a tendency to drop your elbow. Okay. Oh, you're right, yeah, Right, yeah. so you're here, and then you're here. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you're like this, where you're almost yeah. like slicing through your neck, right? Yeah, yeah. So we want to keep this strong. Up, drop, relax here, okay? And I want you to flex the muscles in here, okay? Okay. And all you're doing mm -hmm. as you rotate, we're, you're not quite 90, you're a little above 90 okay. here. So you want the disc to be about your pec. Okay. Okay, don't turn the body yet, right? Okay. Hold that steady, right? Move your arm in, okay? All right, I want you to turn the Shift your weight back and turn the hips. Okay, right there. Mm -hmm. And then shift your weight forward and turn the hips the other way. Okay. But relax the arm. Okay. Like chill with the arm. Okay. Keep the shoulder integrity. So you want to flex the muscles here, right, to, to make sure that you're stiff here, but this is relaxed. Okay. Okay, super loose. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Keep that elbow up and watch your shoulder, like, like look, look straight down. Mm -hmm. Look straight down here. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna look at your forearm. Okay. And make sure that everything is boxed up. Okay. Well, you're not gonna do that in the throw, but that's the drill. Much better. Slow down. Slow down and just make sure you have all your checks, right? So you're pushing back. You're not opening up your, your elbow joint. Okay. No, well, you want to open up your elbow joint. Got it. Okay, you got to lead with the elbow. So what you're doing is... Okay. So you're, you're pushing back. Okay. Right? I don't want you to push back. Okay. I want you to rotate your shoulders and extend your arms straight at the same time. Okay. It's different. This is passive. This mm -hmm. is passive, right? This, this is active at the shoulders, but it's passive on the arm. What you're doing is you're pushing straight back, and that's gonna get you in trouble because you have a tendency, you might have a tendency to, with your muscle memory to push behind your body. Okay. So I want you to just literally do this. Okay. Now add, add the shoulders into it, right? Your hips, your shoulders, everything here should stay, everything here should stay in one line, right? Okay. And you're rotating your shoulders. Okay. There you go. So elbow up. One second. Two. And nice and slow. Oh, nice and slow. Okay. If you can do it in slow motion, then you can quicken the pace and stop right there. Okay. Okay. So you see how you're pushing still, right? You're, you're turning and you're pushing. Okay. So turn, turn the shoulder.
it looks wide rail right now. Okay, and that's, that's okay because you're going to personalize it. Yeah, yeah. But I want you to feel awkward. Okay. I don't want you to go back into your comfort zone because your comfort zone before everything yeah. was based around rounding, right? Yeah. So I want you to feel awkward, right here, as you're. Right, you're chill here, mm -hmm. right? You're just opening up the elbow joint. And then turn the shoulder, drive the hips. Yep, that's it. That's it. Slow. Okay. okay. Keep going. Five more. One more. Okay, good. Now you're here? Yeah, got it. How are you feeling? Yeah, Awkward, right? You're, you're using yeah. some muscles you haven't yeah, used yeah. in a while? Right, yeah. right. Okay. So let's talk about your off arm. Okay. All right, now we're talking about the tuck, right? That's weird. Yeah, yeah. So now we're talking about internal rotation. So um, uh, I'll use righty. So let me stand yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're here and you're here. But what drives rotation is the backside. Okay. So whether you're a right-hander uh, right thrower or a left-hander thrower, it doesn't matter, whatever your trailing side, this here is what drives that rotation. You're pushing off this back foot here, in, knee comes in, you're pushing off your back foot, off your back toes, and you're tucking the arm in, like as if you're like trying to touch your ankle back here. Okay. So, so stand tall, okay. and you're rotating into your body. Remember how I told you you're rota rotating into this leg? So everything comes in. You're not pushing forward like this, but you're keeping the, the axis of gravity here, and it's in. So in, in. Everything here is loose and passive. In. And you want to create some disc lag. So you see how far this yeah. disc mm -hmm. is out from my arm? So Drew Gibson has crazy disc lag. I mean, that dude is like almost at his elbow. Yeah, yeah. But you want to come in. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're here, expel the disc by pushing it away from you, right? So as you're reaching back, I want you to start thinking about your left side driving rotation. You're tucking in to your body. Okay. Okay. So here. So slow down. Okay. Okay. And let me see okay. if I could teach you. Okay. Okay. Arm out here. Okay. I want you to internally rotate mm -hmm. and pull your shoulder into your knee. Okay. And well, not too low. Okay. Yeah, but like. Pull your shoulder okay. into your other shoulder. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So you're Compressed like literally, me. you're trying to squeeze in. Yeah, the disc doesn't matter right now. So yeah, just, yeah. Right, just. And turn that back foot. Okay. Because you're because you're really pushing off the back foot, so you if you listen to pros throw and you hear the scraping noise, mm -hmm. they're scraping as if you're like yeah, yeah. cleaning off the bottom of your foot on the mat. Okay. So not not too big, just okay. keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it okay. tight, and then shoot it down and okay. in. Relax. Nice and easy, nice and slow, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're doing it too fast, you're getting too wild with it. Okay. Right? So just here, in. Make it small. Make it small. Look, a little bit bigger. And then it's in. It's it's not across, but it's mm -hmm. in. And oh. then get your back foot into it as well. Okay. So you're, yep. Get a slightly wider stance. Okay. Okay. And then what you want to do is turn that foot and push off. Okay. Push off that foot. Get it up. Yes. Yeah, but stand tall. Yeah, okay. I know it feels awkward. Yeah, yeah. And believe me, it looks a little awkward, but that's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. You're learning, you're learning a new skill set. Okay. Okay, so, all right. Let's do a throw. Okay. Slow. Yeah. Actually, where's your putter? Uh, the, these are all mids and uh, uh, fairways. Grab a putter for you. Yeah, just any of those at the top, top okay, six. We're gonna throw like literally a quarter speed. Okay. It's an animal. We don't care how far it goes. Okay. Okay. But I want you to just. I want you to stay on your toes, mm -hmm. on your back, on your back foot. Okay? okay. And bend your knees. 
Okay, move with me, 90-90. Okay, we're gonna keep this arm loose by our side. Okay. You're gonna extend the, sh the shoulders back and extend the arm straight. So straighten out your arm, straighten out your elbow. Yeah, so you wanna, you wanna be more out here. Okay. Okay, okay, so here, now, backside drive. Okay. In, create that disc lag, and then push the disc away from you. Good. That's an animal, so yeah, that's yeah. gonna that's not a glidey disc. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice and slow. Just wanna get this first and then I'll drive. Really push off that back foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little better. <laughs> How's that feel up here? It's getting there. Yeah. I mean it didn't hurt, which is a plus. Good. <laughs> here. I see. Try a mid. Understable okay. mid. I'm gonna watch yeah, yeah. your angle from back here. Okay. Relax, stop. Okay. Okay. You're pushing, you're getting close. You're not mm -hmm. quite rounding, but okay. you're teetering that line. Okay. So I really want you to think wide rail, like Paul Macbeth style. Okay. And I want you to exaggerate it for now. Okay. And then eventually hone it back to where it's really comfortable. And keep that elbow up. Yeah. Sweet. Get Do that. that again. Yeah. Yes. It's good. Oh, you're right. Oops, sorry. Getting better. Yeah. You're getting used to it. And the good thing for you is you only need to practice one side. Yeah, yeah. Think wide rail for now. Yeah, that's good. That's way better. Keep that elbow up though. 90 90. 90 90. Okay. Good. Keep working on that. How does that feel compared to your normal style? Feels better. I'm not doing the rounding and that additional, all that stuff, so. Yeah. You're, um, you're not getting as much distance because you're not putting your full input, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is fine, but you're getting almost the same distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So that's about as far as your, your drive was today, yeah. which is good. So uh, let's talk about balance. Okay. Okay. Because um, that, that's looking really good right now. Yeah, yeah. So the problem with your throwing style before is you're here mm -hmm. and you're here. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't given yourself room to really pivot off this front foot, right? So you're here and then you're here. But if you allow yourself to pivot, your hips go faster. Yes. Just scrape it. Like lift your toes up a little bit and pivot around the heel and let yourself finish forward. Okay? So that's what we're gonna work on. But have a slight forward lean to it. Okay. Uh, not like not like your body, sorry. Here, stand still. Okay. Uh, staggered stance. And then Relax, keep mm -hmm. everything nice and strong. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna slightly move your weight forward just a tad. Okay. So you see how your body weight is a little more on your toes? Okay. Okay, so you're a little more agile with it, right? Okay. Keeping your knees slightly bent, right? As opposed to like leaning back, and when you're pivoting, you're like falling yeah, yeah. backwards. So you wanna kind of lean forward just a little bit. Watch the arm, watch the elbow, there you go. Yeah, that's... I, I couldn't tell if I pivoted on the ball of my you, feet. 
or on the, my toes. Honestly, I tried pivoting. <laughs> honestly, like if you're if you're talking to someone like Danny Lindahl, whatever, they'll yeah, tell yeah. you to plant on your heels and turn. Yeah. But I've seen pros turn on the balls of their feet as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't beat myself up over it. I yeah. think your risk of injury is lower. Yeah. If you pivot around the heels, but. I mean, you got to take your progress where you can get it for now. You're pushing away again. Yeah. I went low, but yep. it's kind of what I wanted to do. So here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. When you start to throw, mm -hmm. you've got this rip it mentality. Yeah, yeah. And it's great to have, but I want you to have a quickness mentality. Okay. I don't want you to try to, you know, he-man this disc. Okay. Right? I want you to think, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this slow, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do it faster. Okay. I'm going to do it faster. I'm going to do it faster. I'm going to do it faster. So okay. if we're here, and this is my slow motion, mm -hmm. right? So this is my slow motion. All right. This is a mid-range. I can go faster than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's about mid-range. This was a fairway. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm not throwing harder. I'm throwing faster. Okay. Got it. Right, that's that's more of a driver, right? Okay. So I'm gonna throw this disc. Okay. Right, and so I don't know, three, ten, three, yeah, yeah. twenty, whatever. Right, and it's just about throwing quicker. Now you're you're pulling back in line, so, yep, there you go, elbow up, and just follow through, and then just when you decide, just let it go. Went too high. That's okay. Tuck that back arm in, right? So you're going out away from the body. Okay. So tuck, tuck in and in. rotate that back foot. So get that weight transfer. You've got really good weight transfer. That's why I haven't said anything lately. Okay. But I want you to keep that. Weight transfer back to front. That was rounded because you're doing the pushback again. Oh. So we'll, we'll keep drilling. Okay. Yeah. Even gets a slightly wider stance. Okay. Slightly wider. Rounded. So close. Because yeah. you're thinking, oh, I gotta throw this, so yeah, now yeah. you're 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 coming back up here. Yeah, yeah. Right? So literally, so here's the essence and here's mm -hmm. a beast, right? Okay. Uh, three speed, two speeds different. Okay. Right? So I'm here. Putter, right? Mid-range, right? Ah, it could be faster. Right, that's fairway, right? So I'll throw the fairway. Yeah, it's a good 350, 400. Whatever, whatever that is, right? Yeah. I'll let you rate it, because I don't want to hear about internet speed. Yeah, 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 no, it's or internet 350, distance, 400. Right? <laughs> so this is a beast, obviously, I'm gonna have to throw this faster. Yeah, right? yeah. Not harder. Yeah, yeah. Faster, so okay. I'm not gonna go. Yeah, no muscle, right? muscle around. It's all about getting quicker, yeah. so. Putter, oh, that's more mid, right? Fairway, right, now I'm gonna rip it. There we go, we'll never see that one again. <laughs> Yeah, that's over 400. Right. So I'm sorry I'm not throwing straight, but that's, yeah, yeah, that's no, beside that's... the point. Yeah, the yeah. point is, is that it's not about, all I did was just move faster. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's not about gripping and ripping. If I actually gripped and ripped it, it wouldn't go that far. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm tensing my muscles so it's slower. I'm gonna try to throw one Well, you didn't necessarily throw that. Do you got another fairway driver, leopardish, yeah. anything? Not necessarily. Uh, I don't big. have a leopard. Just anything like not. I have a, big... a Mako 3. Mako 3 is fine, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm going to kind of throw the way I normally throw, but try to implement just some of that stuff into it. Yeah. Just kind of see if I can compromise towards better. So when you look at that mm -hmm. from this 2D view, okay. you're about to slice your neck. Okay. You're back here. Still and, back, okay. Yeah, and then you're dropping your elbow so it comes down and then you're ripping it, Got it. out from okay. here. So when you're here, right? Got it. You're still in the way. Got it. So just focus on like stirring the pot in front of you. Got this it. Is your, this is your zone. Okay. Keep everything in front of you. Out, in, out. Okay. All right, let's go collect some discs. Let's I'll do stop it. the recording. <laughs> just to recap what we just did, right? 90-90, you're pushing your shoulders back, but you're not pushing your arm away from your body. You're just opening up, opening up here, right here at the elbow, you're opening up, okay? okay. Now, what I want you to do with your legs is, this is how you're looking at me, my staggered stance is here, okay? I want you to focus on just using your legs. I want you to turn the hips back so this is a in of the front leg. I'm throwing lefty, sorry. In with the front leg. This is my back leg. I'm loaded up like a spring. And I want to change my hip, lo hip location here where it's pointed to front as fast as I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off this back foot and I'm going to kind of like try to scrape the bottom of my foot as if I'm trying to like clean off my shoes before I get into my house. So I'm here and I'm gonna lift up my toes here and as I push I'm going to spin on my heel this is this is an aggressive display just to show you what I'm doing but it's going to be a lot more subtle it's a little uphill too it's a little yeah. more subtle right so I'm here and I'm here so it's very quick your body's upright you're not leaning side to side you're not sort of like winding up mm. right you're here and I want you to focus on the speed driving through your legs from here to here as fast as you can. Fast, and it is a powerful leg movement, but I want you to think about fast. Okay. I don't want you to round, Okay. right? Yeah. I want you to fast. So, something with your lower body, with your lower body. You're, you're, swing, you're trying to get your shoulders into it. Okay, okay. The hips have to move the shoulders. The shoulders don't move the hips. Yep, and really push off that back foot. Okay. I didn't quite that's, get that. That's still better. Getting there. <laughs> than not doing it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just trying to step into it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> that was slow. <laughs> Somewhat good, right? Yeah. So you're pushing the brace is you're pushing back from your okay. back foot to front and you're pushing the front foot back. So you're keeping your body still and you're extending, you're extending the, um, you're, you're, you're changing the, the foot position to forward, right? To open up the hips more, right? But then you watch pros, the reason why it's a one foot thing is because you're really pushing up this back foot. So the opposing forces of the back and forward is driving that hip forward initially. And then when you finish by finishing with all the weight on the front, laterally, it's here. Something like that. Try Close. To... Close. That would be good if you didn't involve your upper body right now because we are drilling it. Something like that. Okay. Your eye to... So what happens there is you're here and mm. you're sort of pirouetting around. Yeah, yeah. So I want you to really focus on driving in and like scraping the bottom of your okay, shoes. Yeah, think of it more on the grass. Move. Okay. Something like that. Good. Almost. It's weird. Just that back leg. Yeah. You you, you dragged it over here, and that's why you don't want to drag your foot around. Yeah. You want to kind of kick it up, yeah. kick the dirt up. So let's, since we're working on a walk up, okay, let's go through the walk up. Okay, yeah, you were doing it. Yeah, I was just just trying, just trying to get to that mindset of like that. I'm not yeah. sure I got it, but I'm. That 
some this is coming up so I'm not able to use it to push off so I got to figure out a way of so make your rotation smaller okay. right and then you're just just ah yeah that's what you're saying so what you're doing is what a lot of people do when they're beginners is they'll they'll do kind of like a backwards run up mm -hmm. and then they'll usually open up their their hips and they lose a lot of power what you're doing is you're turning your hips back too much because your x steps too big so you're here and then you're here mm -hmm. The problem with this is if you're trying to push off this back foot for power, mm -hmm. how could you possibly push off your heels with rotation? Mm -hmm. Like this yeah, yeah. is a weaker um, power uh, movement. What do you call it? Movement, right? Right, All the right. battery died. There we yeah, go. That's right. Well, Take so I'm, I'm beating up on you a little bit today. Yeah, I know. Nope. You can, I know you can do it. So. I've been beating up on myself for two years. I'm <laughs> more than welcome to the company. <laughs> so let's just go over what we went through today. Okay. Chunk it down so it's basic. Okay. You can practice on it so okay. you can watch this video over and over again. Okay. And you can just work on it at home. Because okay. I will watch this over and over again. Good, <laughs> good. So again, 90 90. Okay. Okay. If you want to simplify it in the beginning and just do your walk up like this, mm -hmm. that's totally fine. That's okay. my walk up. Okay. Right? Why? Because, you know, some pros, they're doing this and this yeah, and whatever. Crazy and stuff, yeah. I could end up anywhere over here. Yeah, yeah. So I want to hold it 90 90 because I know it. where I'm pulling from. Okay. okay? So. All you want to do is just move the disc here, out and in, out and in. Okay. Okay. And you're not you're not pulling, you're not extending here. Okay. You don't want the elbow to go too far uh, outside. Roger the A. You don't want to do that either. Got yeah, it, I mean yeah. you're not going to keep it exactly 90. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're 95, enough. 100, that's yeah. fine. If you're 80, that's fine, yeah, right? Yeah. But you're here, and you want to create this box. Okay. That's the first drill. I want okay. you to focus on that. Here, okay. out, in, out, in. You're not pushing back, you're pushing out. So you're opening up. All you're doing is this. Okay. Okay, that's first drill. Okay. Do that, I don't know, I'm a personal trainer. Yeah, yeah. Four sets of 12, Okay. right, a day. That'll right? Work. You're not throwing anything, okay. so you can just get used to it, right? Second drill is now you're gonna work on that tuck. Okay. Okay, so, the key for you, mm -hmm. honestly, is I'm not worried about here too much because yeah, you're yeah. working on it. Yeah, yeah. Key for you is working your feet. Got it. Because right now you're very flat footed. Yes. And you're very close together. Okay. So get a slightly wider than shoulder width. Okay. I know I'm pretty wide right now. Yeah, yeah. But you want your heels to be wider than your shoulders, Got not it. your toes. Okay. So, so if you're close yeah. and you're out here and you're like, oh, that's wide, that's yeah, yeah. not wide. That's not, yeah. Right? So get a wide stance and stagger it. Start to feel that uncomfortable stagger. Okay. Okay. So again, I'm throwing lefty here. You're gonna do the exact, I'll just yeah, do yeah. righty. Okay, so you're here, okay? And I want you to focus on, when you open up, left hand yeah, yeah. rotates into the center chest. All right? Okay. Watch me, you're not coming up and in, you're just uh, here, okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. in. Make it small, mm -hmm. and that knee comes in, that knee comes into this leg up here. Okay. So your whole body wants to twist into the leg and you're going to release the pressure here okay. on your front foot by scraping the bottom of, you know, if you're at home, a rug, whatever your floor is, yeah, yeah. here. And that way your hips are fully opened up. The disc would have already been long gone by now. Okay. Okay. So focus on here, back, and you can even turn your front foot back. Okay. And then focus on pushing off here okay okay once you do four sets of 12 for that okay then we're gonna go into the walk-up okay and the walk-up I want you to focus on staying lateral maybe lateral okay 90 degrees from the target okay until mm -hmm. until you step out mm -hmm. from your X step now watch your back foot position see okay. how you're See how my foot is parallel is perpendicular to where I'm trying to throw? Mm -hmm. If I'm back here, I'm pushing off my heel again. Okay. And we already just described that that heel, okay. it's not that powerful, right? So you want to stay on your toes here, right? So I'm step, step, small. You see how small mine is? Yeah. I'm not here. Yeah. I'm not here. I'm here. Okay. This lines up your hips, gets the two tracks, step out and in and through push off that front that back leg okay so watch from the side step cross step 
Now you open up. Mm -hmm. So now the shoulders come back, open up, right? And you could just do it in stages just like I am. Tuck. And now as you're tucking, you're pushing off the back foot. Okay, a little reverse and, and I'm going to do, thing this, again do this in reverse. So we can see. Yep. Okay. Step. Hold, hold step. All right, start right. Start right. Start here. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Step. Step, small X step, mm -hmm. right on the toes, mm -hmm. on the balls of your feet. Back. Right. Okay. Drill one. Drill two. Okay. And finish drill two. Mm -hmm. By really pushing off this back foot and scraping off that that uh, floor or whatever you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here. Got it. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Once you're, once the disc is back in the 9090, whether it's you've got that disc lag mm -hmm. or whatever, when you're here, mm -hmm. you're not continuing to pull through. Got it. When you're here, now you extend the disc away from you. Got it. But you're rotating. Yeah, yeah. So it's not going to be like here where you're throwing that way. Okay. Because you're rotating fast. Okay you're gonna still hit that line. Okay. Okay. Cool. There we go. That's a crappy flippy disc. Let me let me throw something else. That's not a crappy flippy disc, that's a nice hatchet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know how to throw it yet. There we go. Right. So cool. the walk up was here, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hold it up. So here, 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 back. And I felt that tension in my lat like we covered in the first, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I tucked very well. That's something I learned like four days ago. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm still working on that. But I'm here and I'm pushing out Got there. It. And cool. that's it. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, that is going to wrap it up. Thank you very much, Drew. I've got a lot to study and edit and uh, repeat, <laughs> attempt yeah. to repeat. So that is going to do it. Thank you all very much for watching. And Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.